They're just coming up now towards the mile mark. Citoyen from Buckskin, Sagaro, then Bruni taking slightly closer order on the inside. Bright finish going up on the outer, Centricon with them. And it's Citoyen and Buckskin. Buckskin taking the lead now. Buckskin going on at the seven furlong pole from Citoyen, Sagaro, Centricon, and Bright Finish making a run towards the outside. Bruni's still well in touch, although he's last. And they're coming down towards the six furlong pole now. And as they do so, it's Buckskin being pressed by Bright Finish. Then comes Sagaro, then Citoyen, then Bruni, and Centricon has been relegated to last place. And it's Buckskin now in the lead with Sagaro going into second as they come to the five furlong mark. Then Bright Finish, then Bruni close behind them. Then comes Citoyen losing ground. Centricon's dropping right out of it. And it's the old rivals now, one two, as they race towards the home turn in the Gold Cup. It's Buckskin from Sagaro with Bruni coming there smoothly just in behind Sagaro. It's Yves Saint Martin from Leicester Pigot, then Brown Taylor in third as they race round the home turn in the Gold Cup. It's Buckskin from Sagaro and Bruni. Buckskin with a three-length advantage over Sagaro. Bruni the Grey coming there on the outside. And as they level up for home, two and a half furlongs to run in the Gold Cup now. And it's Buckskin being chased by Sagaro and Bruni coming there on the outside. It's Buckskin from Sagaro, then Bruni and Citoyen fighting our way back. Coming down past the two furlong mark now, and it's Buckskin from Sagaro. Then comes Bruni, then Citoyen on the right of the picture. It's Buckskin from Sagaro. Lester Piggott looking to his left for danger. Sticks, he's got Buckskin cold. And it's Sagaro now going into the lead as they race inside the closing stages. Here comes Aston History. Sagaro sliding away from Buckskin and Citoyen as they race up towards the line. Sagaro's going to win it for the third time, but going to post home at that. At the line, Sagaro the winner from Buckskin. Second seat by a third. Bruni was fourth. Fifth was bright finish. Sixth was Centricon. And so Lester Piggott rides his eighth Gold Cup winner. Sagaro becomes the first in Gold Cup history to complete the hat trick. And this, the final race of his career. And what a wonderful exit showed that tremendous class coming into the straight here's how he won it as we see it again with julian wilson the example just in behind them this is the mile post they're passing now flying waiter clear of shangamudza and prairie snoopy buckskin arapahos and lamos and Joe Mercer asking Buckskin to get a little bit closer to them if he can. And it's Flying Waiter from Shangamuso. Buckskin now going up on the outside of Prairie Snoopy. In fact, going up to second now. And in fact, going to challenge the leader. And now it's Flying Waiter from Buckskin in second. Then comes Shangamuso. Lester Piggott is making his move on Lamos. That passed the six marker now. Still Flying Waiter from Buckskin in second. Then Lamos and Shangamuso, Arapahos and Prairie Snoopy. The challenger from Germany has dropped right back to last place. They're just passing the five furlong marker now in the Gold Cup and it's Flying Waiter from Buckskin. Arapahos coming that, coming back there alongside Lamos. Shangamuzo holding his place on the inside. Prairie Snoopy almost tailed off now at this blistering gallop and they're racing towards the home turn in the Gold Cup and as they do so it's Buckskin who comes now to take it up from Flying Waiter being chased by Steve Cawthon on Arapahos. Then comes Lester Piggott on Lamos. Then Shangamuzo is losing ground. They're turning into the home stretch now and it's Joe Mercer on Buckskin being pressed by Steve Corson on a Rappahorse. Then comes Lamas. They're coming down to the two furlong pole in the Gold Cup. And it's Buckskin being pressed by his stable companion now, Lamas. And it's Lamas now who takes it up from Buckskin. Lamas on the near side, Buckskin on the far side. The two stable companions, Lester Piggott bidding for his ninth Gold Cup on the near side. Joe Mercer on the far side of Buckskin. Looks as though he's accepted it. Lester is going to storm to his ninth victory in the Gold Cup. It's Lamas going away from his stable companion, Buckskin, as they come up towards the line. Lamas wins the 19th. 79, Ascot Gold Cup, Buckskin is second, third is Arapahos, four is Shangamuza. Ireland, England, and France at the moment with Ardross quickening now, goes up on the inside of Noelino Leicester, just in behind El Barda. They're racing out of Swindley Bottom now, got just over a mile to run in the Gold Cup. Zudo from El Barda. 
Noelino, Ardras, and Tipperary Fixer. That was the mile post you spotted then. Zudo, Elbada, Noelino, Ardras. Race to the seven furlong pole. Just about to pass it now. Zudo from Elbada, Noelino, Ardras, and Tipperary Fixer. And coming to the six furlong from home marker. Zudo from Elbada, Noelino, Ardras, and Tipperary Fixer. And now, just over five furlongs to run in the Gold Cup. And still Zudo for Sweden, from Noelino for Ireland, going up on the outside of Elbada for France. Ardros is just in behind them, and then Tipperary Fixer. Racing towards the home turn now, Zudo still from Noelino, Elbada, Ardros, and Tipperary Fixer. Well inside the final half mile, Zudo from Noelino, Racing up sides him now, then Elbada, then Ardros going round the outside of Elbada, and then Tipperary Fixer under pressure from Maurice Philipperon. They're racing to the two furlong pole now, and it's Noelino who's taken it up from Zudo. Elbada challenging, and Ardros coming there very strongly towards the right of the picture as we see them, and Lester Pickett coming to take it up now on Ardros. And as they race past the furlong pole, it's Ardros going away now from Elbada, Noelino, and Tipperary Fixer as they race up towards the line. Here's another for Ardros as they come up towards the line. In the Gold Cup, Ardros is going to win it in tremendous style. Going to be close for second, but Ardros is the winner. And it's a photo for second between Noelino, Tipperary, Fixer with in-between horses, Elbada, and finally the brave little Zudo, the Polish bred Zudo from Sweden. And so the result of the Gold Cup is first number two Ardras owned by Mr Charles and George trained by Henry Cecil written by Lester Piggott and a photograph for second third and fourth places Ardras a fourth success two starts this year I asked him how the ease of the success compared with his previous nine He's, uh, you know, he's a very nice horse and he, he, he only just does it enough, you know, he, he never does more than he has to, you know. he'd never win by very far. How well did the early pace suit you? They could have gone a bit faster for you, I'd have thought. Yeah, I mean, at, at the state the first time, I think we were going about five miles an hour, I think. <laughs> Did you think about uh, chasing him up a bit earlier? Because you, you didn't really make a move till about the mile and a quarter, did you? No, about seven furlongs, and I just, just moved up to the leading at seven out. And uh, just, I just raced with him for a bit to, so that we went a bit faster, that was all. About the five, it just seemed as though you were having a little uh, trouble sort of shaking off air barn. Yeah, I thought we were going better than we were. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Pragmatic's the first one to crack, and uh, Pat's just kept within half half a length of you there. A quick look over, and Willie's just starting to make a bit of a move. Mm -hmm. When did you think you'd, you'd really go for home? Well, I, I just, uh, when we straightened up, I just, just got hold in a bit, and uh, that was enough. And, uh... Well, this is where he shows his class. And, uh, was he feeling the ground at all, do you think? Well, it's pretty hard today, you know. Uh, he, he wasn't really feeling it, but I think all, all the horses are just, you know, saving themselves a bit, because it got a bit rough there, you know. Well, this is obviously the moment you knew that uh, you got it won, because Willie's filly looked as though she's just galloping in the air a bit, and uh, well, she must, your horse must have given you a good feel now. Oh, terrific, yeah, you know, he's a lovely horse. Well, you've ridden some very good horses to win this race, including Lamos and Sagara. How would you compare this one with the really good ones? Well, Sagara was a great horse, you know, he, he was better than a Gold Cup horse, you know. But this, this compares, you know, favourably with any of them. And could you see this horse going through all the Cup races? Yeah, it should be, yeah. 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 yeah.